for indications where immobilization of the wrist is required, for example, fractures, wrist sprains, or carpal tunnel syndrome. Define the position of the limb before the start of application. Position the wrist in slight dorsal flexion and neutral ulnar radial deviation or slight supination. This will give the patient an indication of which position he has to maintain the limb. Take a double thumb length of 2.5 cm or 1 inch width of stockinette and cut. Then choose the appropriate width of stockinette for the arm. Measure the length from elbow to the distal end of the fingers. Make a cut into the thumb stockinette and slide it over the thumb, smoothing it down. Cut a hole into the arm stockinette at thumb height and roll it up before applying onto the limb to prevent sliding pressure during application. Roll off over the arm and smooth down. Apply one roll of padding to pad the limb. Make sure you have enough padding on bony prominences. It's recommended to wear protective gloves before applying Plaster of Paris. Select the appropriate width of the Plaster of Paris bandage. Measure the bandage from the metacarpals to two finger widths distally to the elbow crease and fold into six layers in a zigzag shape. Activate the splint by dipping into cool water, holding the ends and maintaining the splint fold. Remove from water and gently squeeze to drain. Straighten out the splint and run it over the edge of the bucket to smooth and dispose of surplus water. Apply the splint onto the patient's arm and gently smooth down. At the corners, cut the splint to size, first at the proximal end, ensuring it still allows for the stockinette to be folded back. Then cut the corners at the distal end. To secure the splint, wrap with a bandage starting at the wrist, at first going proximally. Overlap the bandage by 50%. Continue wrapping, now going distally, going twice around the thumb and wrist. Cut the bandage and secure. Cut into the thumb stockinette and fold down. Fold down the arm stockinette at the distal and proximal ends. This will provide smooth edges and comfort. Using a second bandage, wrap distally to proximally. Anchor at the wrist and wrap twice through the web space and around the thumb. Proceed up the arm while overlapping the bandage by 50% and fix. Check for desired range of motion and any points that may cause irritation or pressure. After approximately 3 to 5 minutes, the splint is set and the patient can be released. After 24 hours, the splint is fully set.